If you have a deadbeat parent, this story might be for you. I'm Josh with EDES Stories, your home for the juiciest daily stories and the hottest tea. In today's installment, the original poster wants to know, Am I wrong for telling my deadbeat father's wife that I'm not responsible for my older brother? My brother, a 20-year-old male, and I, an 18-year-old female, share the same deadbeat father. He left our mom while she was pregnant with me. They were both 24 by that point, having had my brother when they were 22, and so still young but not like 18 or 19 young, you know? But I know that excuse has always been made for him, that he was young and dumb, etc. We didn't ever know him or want to know him. Our mom died when we were still young, seven and nine, so our aunt and uncle, mom's sister and her husband finished raising us, all without any help from our father. He evaded child support for 18 years because we had no idea where he was. Our father actually left the country and moved back five months ago with his wife. We found out because she contacted us on social media. We ignored her the first time. Then she reached out again. The first time she was like, hi, I'm married to your dad. We just moved here. We're expecting a child together and we want you to know your new brother. The second time it touched on the move and the expecting a baby together thing, but also went into how important family is and how we might be mad at our father. But we have an innocent sibling who would love to grow up with his older brother and sister in his life. There was such a deep attempt to shame us into responding. All the mentions of her child being innocent, using the word brother and not even half, talking about generational mistakes, etc. We again didn't respond and she tried to send us individual messages after that, which angered my brother. He met her once and he told her he hoped our father left her son the way he left us, and then she'd understand why she was such an effing bitch trying to shame us or claim we had any obligation to her kid. He said he hoped she knew her kid was nothing to him and would never be his real sibling, and he didn't give a flying F if it hurt her kid's feelings or not because they're not family. He also brought up the fact our father owed tens of thousands in child support, and he hoped they wouldn't need that money because if she made contact one more time, he'd chase after it, and he didn't care if it made them homeless or not. My brother told me he'd met her but didn't give details about how it went, and I didn't ask. Then suddenly she shows up at my aunt and uncle's house and she wanted to talk or whatever, but she basically tried putting what my brother said on me and also tried to add more shame for not showing an interest in her son. She was also looking for me to berate my brother for what he said to her. I told her I wasn't going to turn against my brother in favor of her or her child. I also told her I am not responsible for my brother and I refuse to take any because she wants me to. Then I closed the door in her face. I didn't let her inside even though she's heavily pregnant now. She created another social media account and told me how rude I was to her, that she just wanted me to say I didn't agree with all the disgusting things my brother said to her. Am I wrong for not accepting her into my loving arms? So what do you think? This stranger that showed up isn't her mother, and her giving birth to a half-sibling does not make her family, in our humble opinion. Should they have accepted her like she's long-lost family, or are they justified in keeping their distance? Drop your thoughts in the comments, let's discuss it. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily stories.